Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the majority of the people on the street are cleared out, but there are still... Uh, there's fire raging over there on that house, but uh, Alvin's brothers, Simon and Ted, have done a pretty good job Theodore. of putting that out. Ted. <laughs> and uh, the, the shop right here, the apothecary, is still ablaze. Uh, um, these two buildings, however, which you noticed earlier uh, that the doors were open on uh, way earlier when you guys first arrived, they were closed. Um, so what do you guys want to do? Who do you, how do you want to investigate? First up is Frozen Cloak, and I'd like you to make a perception check. I would love to make a perception check. We're going to keep the initiative going right now, because oh, we're still okay. technically in combat. Well, I wonder what... I got that. double what he got, so I have a six. A six? <laughs> Didn't you you don't three? notice anything either. Would you like to check out any of the buildings? Uh, I'm just... Backyard. I'm actually... Uh, I want... Did we know where Sarah Del Vox went? Uh, she kind of ran off in a direction to find the source of the attacks. Okay, um, and all the kids are in this back... Area yeah, kids here. are safe. All right, so I'm the, gonna, uh, the matron of the orphanage is there. She's okay. She's kind of protecting them. All right, so I'm gonna go into the orphanage and try to just put out whatever fires are left. Okay. Um, um you give can... them a hearty. I'll be right back, and uh, get in there. Um, <laughs> without the mages adding anything to the fire, you're able to quickly douse. Uh, okay. There's a lot of damage, but it looks like the the structural integrity of the building is sound. Okay. And should be That's fixable. Good. All right. Hmm. That's all I'll do. Okay. Uh, Betsy, it is your turn. Uh, I will turn to the remaining burning building and go through the door. You're going to run through the door? Two, three, four, five. I'm going to goring charge that door. Okay, you Fire. goring charge the door, bash it open, and um, you're able to get inside. Excellent. <laughs> uh, Perfect. What do I see? It worked out differently in his head. You see a closed shop. No one's nothing inside. Well, I mean, it's an apothecary shop. There's yeah. plenty of elixirs and potions and on the wall, but you know, fire. <laughs> okay, um, but, uh, there doesn't seem to be anyone there. I it will, being time. I will call out to just to ensure. Anybody, anybody need saving? Uh, you receive. <laughs> you receive no response. I will search through the shop just to be certain. Okay. Um, you take a quick glance through it, and uh, you don't see anybody there. There's okay. That doesn't, that Am I happy to be getting woozy by these burning strange herbs? Yes. <laughs> uh, you do feel a little funny. Um, perhaps you'd like to ex uh, extricate yourself from that situation. It's not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No one's. A mm. that smoke's not too bad. So I wonder if. It I wonder if anyone's over here. Oh, I could stay here a little bit longer. Uh, is that on the couch or something? Um, oh, well, this um, stuff really is medicinal. <laughs> uh, I will leave the apothecary okay. and calmly say, there's nobody in there. <laughs> uh, Alvin, you are up. Oh, I'm going to stick next to the old man here. Okay. Uh, do you want to delay, or do you just... That's your actions for now. I'm just going to follow the old man wherever he goes. You're going to ready in action to follow the old man wherever he goes? Well, I mean, uh, to dodge that fiery tornado, I did kind of grab his leg. <laughs> so my thinking is that as soon as he starts walking, I'm just kind of... no and choice you're just, but to you're go putting it up with it? <laughs> yeah. well, well, wait, which leg did you grab? Your left leg. Oh, uh, I don't feel it. Okay. <laughs> Even better. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, speaking of Hector, the, there are no enemies out on the board right now, so it is your turn. All right. So I'm going to double hobble over. <laughs> you, you, you can ignore the speed rules right now. Okay. We're just going through. That's why it, it's... Just turn orders. Yeah, it's just turn orders, basically. I'm going to go into the library. You're going to check out the library. Yes. Okay. Still unaware of the gnome on my leg. <laughs> I run into the library on the leg of the old man. Apparently oblivious that I'm there. And uh, you enter the library... And as you do, oh boy, make a perception check. I really hope both I both? pass this one. Yes, both of you. Damn it. Oh no! <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what do you think? Maybe mine's so Alvin, bad. <laughs> you are acutely aware that there are, there are two people in the library, in the back right hand corner, uh, talking over a book. Uh, and you hear one of them say, yes, yes, this is the information we need. I'll get out there and go, I'll, 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 I'll bring it. You, you grab the book, 
grab whatever else you can, and then burn this place to the fucking ground. And uh, he hops out of a window back here, and... Uh, the one that I think has the book? Uh, no, 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 the guy who said he was leaving. The other okay. guy is sticking behind. With to, the book? Yes. Okay. And Hector, you are acutely aware that you are inside. Mm. <laughs> well, well, there doesn't seem to be anything going on in the library right now. I'm, I don't think anyone's here. Right. <laughs> Even that, you're not a problem. I'm <laughs> sure so, I'm going to state, well, it looks like nothing's awry here. I'm always <laughs> trying to Sorry. burn this down. So I'm hanging on your hip and be like, shh, quiet. What do you... Where did you get this? <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on one second. Here. Continue talking. Wait, there's more fire people here. Shh. There's no one here. I saw... Back of the room. Bullshit. I haven't seen anything. <laughs> I'll bet you ten gold. So you want to go take a bet with me? All right. He's probably going to lose. I'm never wrong about these things. You're wrong. I just take your tiny hand. <laughs> so I, I hop off. And I'm like, he's right down this way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll go check guy. out your enemy. <laughs> so, which, where are you guys going? I'm going to go along this wall. Okay. No, uh, gonna, you I'm can gonna... move, make perception check. Okay. Great. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That, ladies and gentlemen, is why we call it the critical miss. <laughs> I think we're going to set the record for critical misses and critical hits this season. It's going to float somewhere around the There's no middle <laughs> with our group. That's a, that's a two. Two! Two of them! <laughs> two critical misses on perception. We don't know... Okay, you don't know anything. Well, that's good. because But I'm just make gonna... a stealth check. Well, that's fine. <laughs> that, I'm okay with that, actually. Oh, no. Because I'm really good at this. What's worse than a zero? That's okay, because instead of making a stealth check, I'm going to use my chameleon's mask. You made your way up here. And I make an arcana check instead of a stealth check. Okay, interesting. So it's a 20. Wow. Oh, okay, you are you are good. You are not Actually, I don't even think I needed that, because my stealth would have been 17. You are not noticed by anybody. <laughs> good. Well, uh, I'm kind of... I'm The way I'm using I my chameleon's mask, I'm blending myself in with the... With the books. Okay. So you look like a book? I look so no, I'm like, like a bookcase? <laughs> yeah, I okay. look like those people that wear those suits shimmy. that are... <laughs> um, Hector, make a perception make check. Books. Well, yeah. Oh, not bad. Uh, 14. 14? Mm -hmm. um, Alright, you notice uh, uh, there's a smoky smell coming right now. You notice the smoky smell. Oh, right? see, I wouldn't notice the smoky smell anyway. I'm so low to the ground. <laughs> and make a perception check. Fire! Wait, wasn't that a perception check? I, I'm sorry, a stealth check. Okay. Well, oh, here we go. I am fairly certain no one's in here, so this... A three. <laughs> Wait. I'm just waltzing my way in here. <laughs> I don't you think you are walking down the aisle, and you... <laughs> kicking <you're>, shelves <laughs> over. You are... Fire! <laughs> <laughs> fire! <laughs> And, uh, I just put my hand on my head. <laughs> this guy here out. notices you. And uh, he is going to attack you real quick. And you're like, damn it, he was right. <laughs> my gold. Yes, ten gold. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, that is 22 versus your AC. Hit. Hit. You take eight damage. Eight fire damage. Does this guy say anything? Huh? Does this guy say anything in the attack? Uh, he goes, who the hell's over there? And he throws a fireball. All right, well, from my concealed state, I just kind of scream out, I win 10 gold! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> uh, and we'll go back to the frozen cloak. Make a perception check real quick, cloak. Oh, here we go. Okay. Does anyone have good perception? There's a four. There's a four total? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's four total. Two All less right. than my last perception check. You, you don't notice a single thing. <laughs> Why can't anybody pass a perception check? <laughs> well, nor should I. Um, <laughs> our whole group I'm doesn't gonna, perceive very well. We just no idea what's going on. Oblivious. Okay. So oh. I'm going to walk out the front door. Okay. You see a very you just walk through a burning building. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on in that building over here? Mm. No civilians. Clear. Uh, where? Where's the other two? We went in that library, man. That well, apothecary's not that bad either. Alright, well, let's check out this one. Sounds good. What is this one again? Uh, that is the bank. 
Should we take? Let's our, check out the bank. <laughs> shall we take to... our turn together? Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. You guys can check into the bank. Okay. You're, you're uh, would you like to spend an extra point? Right, for, hold on. Books. I I want to listen at the door before we go in. Okay, that's a good because, plan. Because because you know perception checks have been right. really Make good for me Right. Make a perception check for me. Does it matter? Nope. As if it couldn't get worse, it does. Now uh, it's a now it's a two. We know okay. it's a six four two. You don't hear anything. Do you Why do you it? press your head against door? You know what? I should move my head because you're about to ram it, aren't you? <laughs> He's gonna show you how to really press your head against the door. Are you going to try? I, I, and I actually to look at my co puny human ears, minotaur ears are best. <laughs> Stick my head. I put my head on the door. Okay, uh, and you make a second check. Uh, that is a crit. Oh! <laughs> so, I mean, I don't hear anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he heard something. Uh, All right, looks like he's listening to the door. Can't hear a thing. I'll show him how it's done. <laughs> There's one person in our group that knows where you everything is. You can tell that there are three men inside. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they are placed. There's exactly three men. Their birthdays are this. <laughs> one has a major in literature, but he didn't really want it. Uh, and you can hear them talking about bringing gold and riches uh, to lay at their master's feet. Mm, interesting. What? There are three foes inside. We named them. Yeah, I've been meaning to tell you. Um, maiming is. Do you know what that word means? Because you seem to be killing people and saying. Kill? I would never kill them. And I, look, I, look, I look back to the carnage. <laughs> and just and the death. The I field. see the man that I gored. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> He's not. But, moving. But, but it's okay. These are bad guys. You can do that. Halrog's just a little upset okay, right now. Okay, here's the plan. You open the door, I'll throw an Eldritch Bolt in there. I'll kill one of them straight up. Then you run in there and you take them both out. Mm. Ew. Alright. On our next turn, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have set up a plan. Alvin, uh, you are up. Still kind of invisible type deal? Uh, yeah, you are still stealthy. He does not even notice you're there. Now, can I see him from here? Uh, I'm yes. like at the corner and he's yes. at the other corner? Yes, you can corner. see there is, uh, he has started a small fire along this wall here, on the back wall of books. There is a book on the table that looks very, very old. It looks like what he and the person he was talking to were looking over. And you can see him uh, casting a fireball down the alley towards uh, Hector. Well, that's just dandy, let me tell you. All right, so I'm going to cast an illusory ambush. And I'm going to make him think that all the books are actually on fire and falling on him. Oh, nice. All right. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> He's I tried to, and it just a, a page fell. <laughs> the just, hell was that? <laughs> he just thought it was the actual fire behind him blowing the wind. Uh, make another stealth check, though. Was that a light breeze? <laughs> hmm. 24. You are still, he's just like, <laughs> crazy shit happening. <laughs> <laughs> Do it in front of me. I like how he says his own thing. It's just, <laughs> wizard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Hector, I'll allow you to go as well right now, since we're kind of, we're, we're free-balling it here. Okay. <laughs> well, he's clearly upset with the book burning, and... No, he's clearly mad at you. He just threw a fireball at you. Oh, no, oh, no I, I am. I mean, Hector is. Oh, oh, oh. Hector's clearly upset, and he... He set you on fire, man. He yells, you will pay for burning this library? And Possibly. 16 verse fortitude. 16 versus fortitude hits. Sweet. And uh, are you killing him? No. Okay. And it is grasping tied, so I'm kind of grasping him. Oh, so you're just holding him? Yes. Okay. So, he's so he is held up in the air, a la Magneto fucking up Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what what would you like to do? And walk up to him. Huh? Put out fire now! <laughs> <laughs> you should just ask. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah. Then I We're throw him cool. against the bookshelf and knock him out. Oh, okay. Yeah, you throw him up against the bookshelf and uh, some books clatter down on top of him, and he's see. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> that's that's not on fire this time, you psychopath. I gotta say, for your piece, that's very appropriate. <laughs> uh, would you like to do anything else? Uh, well, I want to. I'd probably just check out the books and see if there, if anything was destroyed of importance. Uh, uh, can I take? Can I talk to him? 
Who, the knocked out guy? No, to him. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, right there, yeah. Uh, they were talking about a book. Book? What book? Some, some book with info. Well, some, some guy jumped out the window. We sh what? <laughs> Why didn't you say this earlier? <laughs> <laughs> because you the guy with the book very, is the one that's old. over there. You notice a very, very old-looking book sitting on the table right here, both of you. That book. <laughs> <laughs> very observant. Well, I'm going to approach it. I'm going to climb up onto the table, because I'm assuming the table's too high for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, you notice that the book is called The Tome of the Archmage Daerith. And it is a, uh, a library text, uh, and this was kind of a wizard who had uh, conquered all of the arts. Uh, Sounds familiar. Very, <laughs> very familiar. <laughs> and uh, the library text, uh, the text that they marked out reads as such. Man must conquer fear first, above all else. Fear is his first weakness. Then he must conquer others to know victory. Then himself. Man must conquer himself to destroy anything evil within. Then he must conquer the world to understand what he stands against. Finally, above all else, man must conquer death. Only then will he be the hero that the world needs. That sounds exactly like Beirith. Who? I, I you think. assume. <laughs> I think. Huh. Yeah, I think. <laughs> History check on Beirith? Yeah, exactly. So... Um, that was that was the main passage of the article that you see, of the book that you see highlighted the one that we're reading. Um, everything else is just arcane writings, really really impressive stuff, kind of over your head, pretty far over your head. Well, to be honest, well you're short. So everything starts off over your head. I'm standing, you I have to stand on the table to read this. So I'm oh, standing okay. on the table. Is the book bigger than you, or it's a big book. Like, he would have trouble lifting it. I'm snickering a little bit. <laughs> is, it, is it five pounds? Oh, never mind, I don't have a hand. It's like one eight. Well, I'm going to attempt to carry it, because it just intrigues me. Okay, uh, another thing you could do if you wanted to was, well, uh, if you want to take the whole thing with you, you can, or you can rip out the small page. Oh, no, I'll take the whole book. All right, you close this big <laughs> thing up, and you heave it up onto your shoulder, and then kind of just stuff it into your back. All right, cool. You have uh, one less speed. Oh, that's good. So now my speed is four. Oh, okay. Hey, you're slower than the decrepit old man. So. <laughs> I'm slower than everything. Uh, Bessie and Cloak, it's your turn. I think that's both before before I out, I me. take out my, I put, I sheath my two long gnome sword and. Uh, both of you make a perception check, though. Oh no! Well, I have to let you goes do it. Again. <laughs> Fifteen plus well, seven. Try. Twenty-two. A oh, crit. <laughs> you now you know their birthday. Uh, now I know. <laughs> oh, that the, yeah, that guy. Okay. You notice a man who had previously jumped out of the library mm -hmm. and made his way down this way to the street, and standing in front of the door to the Two Ton Tavern is that gentleman. He looks like an older elven mage. And uh, he's wearing pretty ornate robes, mm -hmm. and the other one walks up to him, and uh, they open the doors to the Chuton Tavern, and inside you can see, you guys have no clue how they all got in there, but there's a bunch of those fire mages standing inside the building, and uh, they all walk in and shut the doors behind them. Basically, we've got bigger problems than this. You might want to handle these first before they bother more civilians. If you want to do that, that's fine, but I have to go help those people. Oh, there's no other people in the Teuton Tavern. They've all evacuated. All you could see inside when you looked in was fire mages. But as far as I think, there's still people in there. No, they all... When, when they, oh, when we the came alarms, out. Yeah, when the okay. alarm rang, all the people exited. Okay. Uh, well, it was pretty empty when you left. Uh, just to be... Uh, what building is this? This is the bank. This is the bank? Okay. All right. Uh, is this door still open to the library? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm going to throw an Eldritch Bolt into the door. Like, okay. through the door. Hopefully trying to get their attention, basically. Okay. Uh, not hitting anything particularly. Maybe just the back wall or something. Okay. Just so they realize that, oh my god, there's something happening outside. Okay, uh, both of you pitch. make perception checks. <laughs> uh, 20. 13. Uh, you both hear a loud bang come from the front of the library, and uh, when you look down the aisle, sort of, you see like the shelf kind of explode and books fly everywhere. <laughs> There's more mages. What are they doing? <laughs> I jump. Can I jump on his back? Okay. Um, <laughs> he allows you to. 
Can I jump on your back? Let's go! Because I'm on the table, so it just makes more that. sense right now. Oh, um, shit. <laughs> You're jumping on an old <laughs> man's back right now? <laughs> With a big book on my backpack. Um, on deal. It's going to only end well. Well, I'm hoping that when they come out, we can... You guys can move outside. Would you like to? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys move outside, and you can kind of convene with yourselves. What in the high heavens was that? <laughs> I say, <laughs> there are three foes on the other side of this door. We must kill them. Did I say kill? I meant maim. <laughs> but more importantly, there's a quite a gathering going on in the tavern. In of, that tavern? Of the fire mages. In this yes. tavern over here? I'm yeah. going that way. No, you're not. You seem quite capable in battle. There's a lot of people over there. Yeah. All of them taller than me. Make a perception check. <laughs> Nine. Good enough. You're because making quite a scene coming down the street is Al, uh, Simon. By himself? And coming down yes. this way? And he think? is waving his hands coming down this way towards okay. you. And he's waving his hands in the air trying to get your attention. Jumping up and down, yeah. running towards you as fast as he can. Um... I'm gonna kind of like magically whisper to him. Who? Simon. Okay. Because he should be able to do it back because he's also a kind of wizard thing. Okay. And I'm gonna ask him, what? <laughs> <laughs> they took Ted! They Who? took Ted and they grabbed him and I don't know where they went! Who's Ted? Theodore! Oh shit. <laughs> they took him! They brought him inside the tavern! I was able to get away because I hid in a bush! I'm not proud of it! <laughs> you, you seem kind of proud of it. I'm but... not that proud of it! Alright. Alright, so there's a lot of men in there. And your brother, apparently. Well, I don't know if you would have heard. He's all the way down oh, here. Oh, okay. I thought we were, and we're like whispering to each other. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Then... There are all those people are in there? Yes. And I want to go that way, but I'm going that way. I'm with you. I'm going to sound like a hero. I'm not. I'm definitely <laughs> afraid on the inside. <laughs> I, I kind of just like lower my the front of my cloak a little bit, showing the the medallion. I'm like, I, I kind of uh, look up. I kind of look up at Hector <laughs> and be like, "You'll go too, right?" <laughs> we better save this poor bastard. This Who? Is some mess. Ted. You don't know about Ted. I don't. Didn't I just hear you talk? To no, him? that was no, a no, magical whisper magic between them two. Yeah, whatever. They can kind of whisper mm. each other through the arcane winds. Fine, but only because you. I, only because you bested me in a bet. <laughs> yeah, speaking of which, pay up. Oh, I don't have any money. <laughs> what's what's going on? Don't have We're time going, for this. <laughs> a lot of people that you can maim. Mm. Good enough. <laughs> I'm taking care of these. I don't want to get flanked on the way over there. Well, while you've been talking, <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. The doors fly open. And two men are staring at you, holding hey. big bags of gold, just going... <laughs> uh, the door's open, and we just make eye contact, and it's really awkward. Holy shit, people with sacks of gold. I'm gonna go incapacitate them. Bing! Bing! I'll interrogate you later. Uh, <laughs> May I action point an attack? <laughs> you don't have to action point, you can just attack. Okay. You weren't doing anything. Uh, you have the, uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> they're holding bags of gold, so you have one surprise round, each of you. Oh, okay. Gladly. Uh, Frozen Cloak, uh, you're you first in the order. Yeah, you're you like you all within range. First? Yeah, I would love to attack first. Um, here comes an icy skewer his way. Okay. That's 17 versus AC. Hit. <laughs> yeah, stealing from a town which is already on fire. You're gonna get a little bit of justice to the face. So it is Betsy's turn. Hmm. How rog? Well, well, duck over this guy. Okay. Go behind him. Slash him in the back. Oh, he could take an opportunity attack. Um, he is holding a bag of gold. He's gonna swing it over his head, and try, <laughs> try and lop you with it as he goes by. Oh my god! It, I am so. Oh well, maybe. Um, I, I kind of hope this hits. <laughs> it's seventeen versus AC. Ah, uh, miss nineteen. Oh, Actually, maybe. twenty-one against opportunity attacks. Oh, nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. And oh, your so, with that going down, I take my broadsword across his back with a threatening, threatening rush. No, no, basic math. That is a eighteen versus eighteen. Hit. Okay. Yeah. Can you slash across his back or? Oh, um. Being that I've always been maiming, so it's kind of just like, the yeah, he's probably knees. dead. <laughs> <laughs> back of his knees is a good one. I'd like to do back of the knees. Okay, you 
take out the back of his knees, he screams in agony, <laughs> and then falls backwards as a bag of gold slams down on his face. I then action point and okay. turn to his friend, oh my goodness. <laughs> who has right. just witnessed all of this, and sure strike him down the, well, actually, I'm going to aim right for, let's see if it hits, that's a 15, plus that already nine. hits. <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> on its own. And so after the knees, I look to his friend, and I bring it down on top of his head. Oh my, your Wait, sword? what? <laughs> I, I, I'm full adrenaline right now. <laughs> so you lodge your long blade right into the center of this man's forehead. Yes. And he falls down. And, uh... Wow, his friend is suffocating would you like on a bag of to gold? roll damage to see how far it goes through? Sure. <laughs> see. I didn't get to interrogate them later. Okay. Is he dead? Um, that is three on its own. Far enough to make him dead. <laughs> Far enough to make him dead. I just realized I completely, no way of him just simply bleeding out, just killed this man. I'm like, oh, what, what have I done? Oh, well, God. your uh, your viciousness is assuaged when you look around and you take a general estimation of uh, what you have and there's... Probably around 2,000 gold sitting at your feet. You're pretty good at uh, oh, uh, determining value. Well, I just got over that real quick. <laughs> so, um, uh, that's true. I am a treasure hunter. So, I look now, over to Now, the folks. question is, what do you guys want to do with it? Well, it's Alvin's turn, so I don't know if he wants to... Well, you guys are out of combat right oh, now. Okay. You're all kind of... I look at the gold, and I remember this is the bank of the people. We can't take this. Thank you for saying that, because I was about to attack you if you did. <laughs> I, I, I start bringing the gold... Oh, actually, I just bring the gold back in, and I start running off. Oh, okay, I'll lock the door. There's a there's a vault right here with the door open, so you're just going to throw the gold in and yeah. shut the vault? I'll, I'll take it, I'll bring it over, and is there anything else in there, or just gold? Uh, you see, mostly it's just gold. Uh, there is one... It, it looks like almost like an ornate... Lock box, uh, like almost like a safety deposit box, and uh, make an. Mm, I mean, make a streetwise check. Next hour. Um, streetwise, okay. Actually, I would like to do treasure sense. Okay. Uh, this is the first time I'm using it, so I'm a little new to it. Uh, but it says choose a single item for the next hour. You gain a plus four bonus to knowledge, perception, streetwise thievery. But honestly, I just want the bonus to just sniff the box, just like. Oh, there's some valuables in there. <laughs> oh, you want to find out what the value of the thing inside might be? Or you just want to find out, like... Well, what let, let, let's go with what uh, you wanted to do. Okay, uh, take a, uh, make a streetwise check. Uh, that is a zero. You should have higher than that. Four. Four? Uh, you think that this isn't really worth much at all. Okay. Uh, the box itself or the rest of the vault? Um, well, I mean, the rest of the vault, I mean, there's an entire mm. savings of a town in there. <laughs> right. Um, well, but no, the, the, the box itself, you believe, is, uh, oh, why is that there? Who would even want that? I pick it up, I shake it. <coughs> Sounds like there's metal rustling inside. Metal, huh? I wonder if this is Mithril. In my town, Mithril is well coveted. I'd like to expend treasure sense to give me a bonus to looking for Mithril. Okay. So plus four to knowledge? No. It would Any be knowledge based it. check, which person yeah, this would be. Wise. So re retake the. Yeah, uh, retake the streetwise with okay. plus four. Bonus. So this is a four plus an 11. 15. 15. Uh, you... But it's only if it's mithril. It's, it's right. The, there's, yeah. no, there's no mithril in the box, as far as you can tell. Wow, oh, okay. I, I, I don't want this box. Then. All right. Toss it to the side. Chuck it on the side. Okay. <laughs> I feel like that was important. 